All right, g'day guys, and welcome back today to another Obsidian video. Today we're going to be looking at a new plugin for um, handling your templates. Um, and obviously, anyone who's seen my previous videos would know that there is a core plugin that comes with uh, Obsidian or is available as part of Obsidian package called Template, um, which is a fantastic solution because it lets you sort of open a, a new note. Um, press a hotkey and have a list of templates come up and you can select those and have them come into your note automatically. Um, but Templator takes us a, a bit of a step further um, and my previous video um, does use Templator so I thought it'd be worth um, while sort of showing you what it is and what you can do with it. Um, but basically imagine a world where you can open up a new note and depend but, uh, sorry, depending on the folder that you're using um, basically have a template automatically populate. That's Templator. So let's jump in and have a look. All right, so I've obviously in my vault here, um, just to show you the functionality and how it works, I'll come down here to my mechanics reference um, and where I have my, my monsters, so my beast Jerry. All right, let's go, new note. Boom. Notice how when I created a new note, it automatically populates with the monster stat block. All right, and this is the custom monster stat block that comes with the TTRPG stat blocks plugin uh, by Javelin, so fantastic plugin. Um, but, you know, the ability for me to create a note now automatically has that in there. So, how did I do this? All right, we jump down here to settings. First thing we've got to do is we've got to install the plugin. So, we're going to come here to community plugins. We're going to come here to browse plugins. And we're going to type in templator. All right. You can see this one's by Silent Void, <laughs> 182,000 times this one's been installed, so this is a very popular one. Uh, but yeah, you'll have a, an option to install, and obviously once you've done the install, you'll need to enable it. Um, and while you're doing that, obviously you can run through here and have a look at the uh, the demonstration and the, uh, the readme files. So um, there is a warning on this one. So Templator does allow you to execute, um, you know, external JavaScript code and system commands. So that can be dangerous. I'm going to say this out loud, guys, like... Don't install JavaScript that you don't know what it's doing and you haven't had validated that it's safe to do so. Okay, um, JavaScript can be quite dangerous. So warning, 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 you know, you can do that at your own risk. Um, but with that said, um, you know, we've got it installed now. Let's jump over and have a look. The first thing we want to do is go to options. All right, there's some settings here. So first thing we want to do is template folder location. You need to set that up. And this is just like we did with the template plugin in that you need to create a folder that has your templates. Now, I've used template with my template folder for a long time. So I'm just going to use the same one because you can point it to the same folder. So I've got Z underscore templates, boom, done. All right, and now what I can do is I can press a hotkey um, at any time inside of a note and have you know my templates pop up. So Let's just show you what that looks like. Uh, the hotkey, by the way, let's just jump into settings and show you that quickly. So hotkeys, templater, you can see that we can set four different hotkeys for this, but alt N is the one to create a new note from template. You can change that if you want, um, but I'm just gonna leave it. So alt N, template is working. I can put in a call out box, all right. And you know that's one of my templates that I have available, so that's functioning quite well. All right, but how do we set up this automatic folder stuff? So let's come down here to Templator again. All right, we've got that set. Uh, we can see some options in here for some other stuff going on. Uh, there's ability to trigger Templator on your file creation. Um, template hotkeys um, allows you to bind a template to a hotkey. Okay, cool. Folder templates though. This is where we want. So a folder template basically allows you to determine a folder. All right, you can see here that I've set the one for my beast jury. All right, and then inside that, what I want to use. Now, if we come in here, for example, and let's go mechanics reference, forward slash, I want to go, where's my magic items? There it is. Magic items, then in here, I'm going to go my templates. Have I got a magic item? I do have a magic item template. We're going to go template magic item. All right, close that down. And now I can uh, easily come back here to the magic items folder or the items folder, sorry. All right, you can see I've got items. We'll go new note. All right, and all of a sudden I have my, my template here for my magic items. So boom, done. So yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's pretty much it, right? Um, I do wonder, though, let's just do a test. 
I'll do this in here. Looks like it's working on subfolders as well. Oh, that's fantastic. I was afraid that if it wasn't working on subfolders, you'd have to set up rules for every subfolder, but it looks like that is just flowing down. Uh, that's exactly what I see. Um, let's just try that though. So if we were to add a new one for the mechanics in the items, yeah, we know that. And then for the, what are we doing? Arms and equipment guide. And then in here, we could do another one for, just do a flavor box for now. All right, so obviously we, we have one there, but if we now make a new note here, bingo. All right, so we can control uh, what templates get used by the position they are in the tree of the folder structure. So it looks like it's folding down, which is, uh, that's fantastic. That's exactly how I'd want that to work. So yeah, um, I don't know, imagine how you could uh, have that working. I'm, I'm sure uh, you could set things up for all sorts of things so that you basically don't have to really worry about, you know, picking a template every time you come into something. It's probably gonna be more useful in places like your mechanics reference, right? So monster folder for monsters, items for item template. Um, but I'm sure you could do other things like have a journal folder with your journal template that automatically pops up as well. I can see some real sort of easy places to sort of make your life easier and, and make yourself more efficient here. So fantastic piece of uh, piece of uh, plugin, I reckon. That's a really good, uh, really good outcome. So anyway, that's been Templator, short and sweet, but it's a very useful plugin. I'm sure it does a lot more than that, but that's the bit that uh, I'm certainly interested in. Um, and that's the bit that I'll be using in my game. So anyway, um, look forward to speaking to you guys in the forums. Have a great day.